26. In triangle ABC, the measure of angle B is 90 degrees and BD is an altitude of the triangle. Okay, so A, B, C. I'm going to try to draw this a little better. Eh, close enough. Angle B is 90, A, B, C. And B, D is an altitude. So an altitude is a line that comes straight down. It has the height, so it's forming a right angle at the bottom. B, D is the altitude. The length of A, B is 15 and the length of AC is 23 greater than the length of AB, which is a fancy way of saying 15 plus 23 or 38. So that is AC is 38. All right. What is the value of BC divided by BD? Oh, wait, what? Uh, do I need to do like Pythagorean theorem to figure this out? But then how do I figure out the altitude? The, the easiest way to do this, I've seen this type of problem before on another practice SAT, PSAT that was provided by them. So clearly they like this. Keep an eye out for this type of problem. There are similar triangles at play. Anytime you have overlapping triangles, and we do in this case, we have a couple of them. We have this big triangle, ABC. And then we have, we have this triangle, BDC. And we have this triangle, BAD, the bad triangle. So I have three triangles. And two of them, ABC and BDC, have the right angle. Well, all three of them actually have a right angle in them. So there's a potential for similar triangles all over the place because we have shared angles. Because if you look at ABC, angle A is one of its angles, and BAD, angle A is one of its angles. As soon as you have two angles that are congruent, you have similar triangles. So BAD is similar to ABC. But also over here, BDC has angle C as one of its two uh, three angles, and BAC has angle C as one of its three angles. So BDC and ABC are also similar. But what do they want? They want BC to BD. BC and BD are part of this little triangle right here. So I'm going to forget about the bad triangle and I'm going to look at BDC and how it relates to ABC. So I'm going to draw BDC down here. And so, okay, so I have B, so D is at the top. I'm just, I'm rotating it like this. D is at the top. And then this would be B over here and this would be C. So I'm just kind of spinning it down. Okay, now this looks a little different than that one. Well, it should because they're sharing angle C and here angle C is on the, the right-hand side and here angle C is on the left-hand side. So I'm going to flip it one more time. I'm going to draw it that way. So angle C is here and angle B is here. So now they look, it's easier to see the corresponding angles. So I know they both have a right angle and they both share angle C. So there's my similar triangles. Now I am going to write a similarity statement. Trust me on this, it will help. So, and you make sure that the corresponding angles line up or match up in this statement. Honestly, this is the hardest part, just making sure that you interpret this triangle and getting it to this point correctly. So triangle, bottom left corner, to right angle, to shared angle C is A, B, C. It is similar to triangle, bottom left corner, to right angle, to shared angle C, B, D, C. Once you have this similarity statement, you can very easily set up proportions just by saying what corresponds. So A is to B as B is to C, first to second is second to third, is the same as B to D to D to C. You can say A is to C as B is to A. It's the same as B is to C as D is to B. You can set up these proportions very straightforward, very easily. So what are they telling us here? The length of AB, A is to B, is 15. And the length of AC, A is to C, is 23 greater or 38. They're saying A to B is 15. And that so that ratio a to b b to c well let's look what ratio they're asking and then we can set this up really easily they're saying what is b to c 
over B to D. B to C over B to D. Look, it's those same two. It's the first and the last. We have the first and the last. And then the first two. First two. So these same, even though the lengths are not the same, the proportion is still the same. So this triangle over here, the first to the last letter is 38 over the first to the second letter, 15. So over here, same proportion. First to the last would be 38. First to the second would be 15. So there's no calculating required. That's it. Our answer is D, 38 over 15. This one really is wanting you to recognize those similar triangles. Again, I've seen this type of problem before, so it's a good thing to practice and look out for on the PSAT. They like it a lot. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.